After hearing noises outside, I decided to check and see if there was any footprints left on the stepping stones where I had spread some powdered pudding mix. Kind of to pick up any tracks. Like fingerprints there. Looks like tongue prints. Little tiny, tiny prints. I think that is some kind of tongue print. Okay. <clears throat> We've rearranged the camera somewhat. I grounded the trailer. That uh, rod goes in about four feet into the ground and it's bolted to the trailer. under the trailer in case there's some kind of critter that's going under the trailer so we'll be able to see under there uh, it rained a couple of days ago so I haven't had to brush uh, very much because you know I've wiped out all of the footprints and I'm up here uh, in the White Mountains and I'm kind of checking out some uh, reports of some uh, vocalizations in the area. Um, this is kind of what the forest area looks like. It's, uh, really pretty. Quite a ways to go up that road right there. I thought I'd just uh, do a panoramic view of what it's like up here. That's 360 degrees. Okay, that is Escadilla back over there. It's about 30 miles away. It's the one of the biggest mountains in the area. And that is the home of the meat eaters. Interesting little structure. There's another one right back there. I'll go take a look at it too. Okay. Another interesting structure. The uh, limbs are broken and not cut. Of interesting. Well, this place looks nice and squatchy, as they might say. Ah, uh, interesting. There's another structure right there. It's a pretty good sized one.
seeing more and more of these uh, treetops. It's starting to get late in the day and I've got a ways to go to get back to camp so it's time to get headed back and get ready for the evening.